Hey guys, it is Dark, and we are back with the third commentary video in a row. But before we start the video, I need to talk about something. If you're a big fan and you check my account daily, you wouldn't notice that I'm posting this video four or five days later than my usual video. It's probably an exaggeration, but still late. And if you check the community page, you would know that I'm changing up my post schedule to post every single Sunday. Originally, I would post every five days, which it does seem normal. But it's unorganized because every week I'd post two days earlier. Say I posted Friday one week, next week I post Wednesday, which is like really unpredictable and it was hard for me to catch up with. Now with me posting every single Sunday, I'll be a lot more prepared and I'll be able to take like a day to work on my videos, except a few hours because of school. The only drawback with this is that you guys get less content because I'm posting every seven days instead of five. I feel this is a fair trade though because you guys are able to expect the videos better because they're coming out the same day every single week. That's all I wanted to tell you guys, enjoy the video. For a decently long time now, Gorilla Tag players have been noticing that all of the updates are pretty low quality. All of them being copy of faces of the last years with just different cosmetics. And surprise surprise, two weeks after they had a flashback. And it's been the same for the past two years now. We haven't gotten an actual good technical update in a very long time. You might think all of this is the worst it could get, but I think we've hit the rock bottom at this point. February 9th, 2024, Electronic said inside of the Discord announcements inside of the Gorilla Tag Discord, please don't ping us to tell us SteamVR is broken. Uninstall your mods completely. Yes, even camera mods. So there's like two sides of this message. One understandable and then one just screaming, oh, we don't care about our moderators. First one, the one that makes sense is that like, oh, they're pinging moderators and whatnot. That's not good. Of course, they don't want to get pinged. They're busy moderating the game. But what really ticks me off is when Electronic says uninstall all mods, including camera mod. So there's like mod menu mods and there's camera mods and there's all those different type of mods. But the one mod that probably is the most important to Gorilla Tag is the camera mod. The camera mod is like something which allows Gorilla Tag YouTubers to record themselves from different point of views. Say like someone's looking at them, they could see themselves from a different point of view. Third person see their self behind the head. So they could record that for content. And the only other way you could do that without mods is with the mirror and the mirror isn't everywhere. And we've been asking for a standalone camera mod for a really long time now and they just haven't received. It's possible Gorilla Tag copies have done it they just haven't responded yet. Per usual! And we're not even sure if we're getting mods back, because recently, Lemming has pushed out a new hotfix, fixing a few bugs, but nowhere does it say that they fixed mods, proving that they're not prioritizing their content creators. But aside from that, Gorilla Tag is kind of becoming a cash grab, and this has been a thing for a very long time now. Ever since the game became popular, all the prices in Shiny Rocks have been going up, and now we have a $30 plushie that just came out. But saying that it's $30, you may be wondering, oh, no one's gonna buy that, it's $30. Well, you're wrong. At the time I'm making this video, 10,000 people have bought it. That's $30K worth of plushies. What nerd would spend $30 on a Gorilla Tag plushie that doesn't even look good. There's fan-made plushies. I've seen some YouTube channel. Some kid made absolutely insanely cute plushies that looks 10 times better. I'm sorry if you bought one of them. And I'm not completely sure if it was made in China. Most likely it is because everything else is. But like, bro. If it really is being made in China, it's probably one or two dollars to get produced. But it's 30 dollars. But I was looking at the website even more just now, and I learned something even worse. The shipping is over one month long. It is February 18th at the moment which I'm making this video. If I bought it right now, it would be here at May 29th. That is insane. That is over a month shipping. Like, what? It is a little plushy with three cosmetics. It cannot be that hard to ship. And looking at more research of it again, I just watched some kid buy it. He's probably from Europe or the UK. It costs $9 for shipping for something that will take 100 days to ship, which I find to be absolutely insane. You could get same day shipping for $10 on Amazon for $10. I think I already said that. 
But no, no, no. It's going to be 104 days shipping, I'm pretty sure. Huh? And this thing is only going to be around for February because it's a limited edition thing. But, like, the shipping, it goes two months past that. There's February, March, April, May. May is when it will arrive. It stops being sold in February. Like, what? And one more little rant before I say something that's a little bit wholesome about this. No one has got the plushie yet, I'm pretty sure. Literally no one. I'm not seeing any videos of anyone unboxing it. I might be wrong, but I'm not seeing any videos. Like, I'm browsing YouTube. I'm trying to look for a video of someone unboxing it, using it, showcasing it. I can't find a single one. They're usually just some knockoff Amazon one. Like, what? No one has it yet? What do you mean? Wait, before I say the whole something, I found another thing to rant about. They haven't even produced the plushies, I'm pretty sure. On the website, it says, Oh, production starts March 5th? That is five, 20 days from now, I'm pretty sure. 20, 22 days, I'm pretty sure. Like, <coughs> what? Moving away from the horrible things about this cash grab, there is a pretty wholesome message at the bottom of it. Here, let me read it out. Message from the creator. Three years ago, this humble gorilla took its first hand steps into the virtual world, the gorilla tag. Now, through sheer force of will, it has broken its way into the real world. It's armed with some wearable cosmetics from in the game, including one that's pretty rare, so I hope you're ready to get tagged. To be honest, I never really imagined anything like this happening, seeing the little goofy gorilla face that I drew and almost scrapped three years ago sitting in your hands. In real life, looking back at you is a special feeling I really can't describe. Thanks so much to everyone for playing and enjoying our game, and we hope the gorilla has as much fun waving the fabled stick around in your home as much as it does in the game from lemming in this message we get a decent amount of inf information on the future and on the past starting with the past it's nothing crazy but like lemming almost scrapped the face that we have right now imagine gorilla tag with a different face it would be so weird it might just be the fact that we've had this face for around three years now but i feel like it would just be weird now for the future, this is just a theory, nothing verified, but when it says Gorilla Tag is breaking into the reality, I'm willing to bet that we're getting more like Gorilla Tag merch and stuff coming in the future. With all that said, I think it's an appropriate time to end the video. I'm going to link the website for the Gorilla Tag plush down in the description. Tell me if you find anything wild, or maybe buy it if you're a nerd. I'm just kidding. Uh, anything I s said like mean about the plush and if you bought it, I don't mean it. Just for jokes, just for funnies. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. It helps out so much. We're super close to 5K. And when I hit 5K, I'm going to be doing a fan lobby. I might even do fan lobbies more actively so you guys can actually play with me more. So, yeah. Toodles!